Thank you. Hello, everyone. Uh, in this presentation, I'm going to talk about our first prototype for a project that is concerned with visualizing different aspects of ontologies in order to support uh, design, maintenance, uh, comprehension of ontologies, where we mainly focus on ontology repairs. So the idea in general is the following. We would like to be able to fix ontologies with respect to certain defects that occur in them. So defects for us are either <clears throat> unsatisfiable concepts or any unwanted entailment. Therefore, each of these defects would have at least one justification in, in the ontology. And justifications are minimal subsets uh, of the ontology that entail the defect. So basically, one way to get rid of these defects is basically to take a collection of axioms that appear in each of these justifications and remove them from the ontology, which will then result in a repair, a fixed ontology that doesn't have this defect. Now, the problem is that we have, in general, exponentially many of these uh, collections of sets that we call diagnoses and we have to, to choose from, so to pick the best solution. So in order for us to be able to fix an ontology, we need to address two main questions here. The first one is how the defect is occurring in the ontology in the first place. And the second, how does the removal of the axioms of the diagnosis would actually affect the resulting ontology? So in the following, I'm going to use uh, an example uh, with with our prototype, where the ontology that we considered is a modified version of the pizza ontology, and the defect is the unsatisfiable concept spicy ice cream. So our <clears throat> uh, prototype is called Devon. It's a web uh, application for ontology debugging that supports OL2EL, and uh, it is designed for dual monitor uh, setup, and consists of two main components. Each of these components actually correspond to one of the two questions that were on the previous slide. The first component we call defect comprehension. And this, this component is responsible for explaining how the defects are occurring. And this is done by using uh, interactive uh, proofs. And the second component is uh, called diagnosis comprehension. And this one is responsible of showing the impact of axiom removal uh, on the modular structure of ontologies. And this is done by, by using atomic decomposition of ontologies. So regarding proofs, I'm not going to talk more about this because we've just uh, heard about this in the previous two talks. But later on, we'll have more about the atomic decomposition. So in Yvonne, there are uh, basically uh, two modes of proof exploration. Either we start from the asserted axiom and go all the way to the final conclusion. Or as we can see here, we start from the final conclusion. And by pressing on this button, we can see the immediate uh, inference step that led to it. Selecting any axiom of the proof will activate the, its corresponding buttons and we can either show uh, the entire subproof or subtree rooted in the currently selected axiom or just hide it. So let's assume now we have read this part, understood it, we can move to the next axiom in our proof. We can also cut a proof and consider a subproof in isolation. So what we see here is like I fast forwarded to unravel some inference steps, but at any step, if there is any uh, rule application that is not quite clear, we can always press on the name of the rule and we see a more detailed explanation of the, the abstract rule and how it was applied in the current uh, instance of it in the proof. So, now we, we, we are looking at the proof, we understood these parts, and now we notice that spicy ice cream is a pizza, which looks a bit strange. So what we can do is actually press on this button, which will then take us to the ontology view where we can see the diagnoses and their impact. But before talking about this, 
I would like to explain what, what we currently see. This is the atomic decomposition of our pizza ontology. Uh, it's basically a compact structure on the axioms of the ontology that is used in module extractions. So in our setting, we, we use the atomic decomposition to show the impact of axioms uh, removal on the modular structure of the ontology. Uh, Sorry, you have two more minutes. Okay, okay. So uh, I'll try to explain this uh, really fast. Uh, if I would like to remove an axiom from an ontology, then let's assume this is the one that I want to remove. What this graph basically tells me that this node, which is called an atom, would be affected. And also all the other atoms that are dependent on it. So if we go back now to, to our example, what we see, uh, three diagnoses. In our current example, they are singletons, but usually a uh, diagnosis uh, set that has multiple axioms. Every time we select uh, a diagnosis, it will be uh, highlighted in the ontology plus the atom that it affects. So for example, uh, selecting this diagnosis will actually see these three atoms being affected and the same effect actually is holds for the third one so if we would go with with uh, for example selecting a diagnosis with the least uh, impact it would be this one but basically to make spicy ice cream satisfiable again i would have to forget everything about it so this is not the ideal solution that i want and in our current example it would be diagnosis number two where actually in our current modeling, not only pizzas have topping, but also ice creams. Uh, this is a list of, of uh, implemented features we have so far. I don't have time to talk about all of them, but I hope I covered most. What we are currently working on is we're trying to, not trying, actually we are uh, integrating the, uh, the computation of proofs and atomic decomposition into the tool. Uh, improving the visual representation of what we can see. And we also uh, want to introduce yet another navigation mode for proofs. Uh, a lot of functionalities can be added uh, to, to, the, to our prototype. Basically, we would like to, uh, as future work, to highlight all justification of any selected axiom in a proof. Uh, we would like to be able to filter diagnoses based on certain markings of axioms where we say, okay, these axioms I trust, I don't want them to be changed. I don't want any diagnosis that involve these axioms. And also there are different ways of repair. So like gentle uh, repairs, which we'd like also to consider. Thank you.